The new year has picked up with COVID infections where 2021 left off. U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is reporting more than 100,000 Americans are hospitalized with the virus for the first time in nearly four months. WBRE 28, WIOU 22, Eyewitness News South Beat reporter Mark Killer here to explain. Mark. Nick and Candace, those hospitalizations include increasing numbers among some of the youngest patients. The trend of more young infected patients is something Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania's largest health care organization is experiencing firsthand. A pandemic risk has been proven true, especially in recent weeks and now in the new year. Children and adolescents are not spared from becoming infected with COVID-19. Schools are back in session. Um, some schools are even opting not to have children masks in school. So all of these factors um, are contributing to an increase in overall cases, including pediatrics. Rising numbers are fueled by the emergence of the current dominant novel coronavirus strain, Omicron. We know Omicron is a much more transmissible variant um, than even Delta. And because of that, you know, by design, we're going to see more infections. And unlike previous variants, it causes more upper airway problems, which can be more dangerous for kids compared to adults. Healthcare providers like Geisinger report a rising number of children hospitalized with COVID, including a vast majority age eligible for the vaccine, but haven't received a shot. Dr. Brzezinski says vaccine side effects are extremely rare, but what's not? What we are seeing is the devastation of the actual infection, COVID-19. Um, and we know what that does. It's resulted in short-term immediate effects of children getting sick, as well as a concern of long-term debilitating symptoms. So how strongly does Dr. Brzezinski recommend the COVID vaccine for kids five and older? Uh, not only an infectious disease doctor, but I'm a mom. Uh, and um, I've actually had both of my children receive the vaccine, one who just turned five years old last month. Um, so, you know, I only recommend something um, that I would do for myself. I've read the data, I have understand it. Now, CDC data shows children are the least vaccinated age group in the U.S. Only about 53% of kids 12 to 7 are fully vaccinated. And Nick and Candace, with those ages 5 to 11 years old, far less. Interesting. Mark, any idea when kids under the age of 5, younger than 5, might be eligible for the vaccine? We do know this much. We know that drug makers are trying to work out a vaccine for kids in that age bracket, but all indications are that it won't be any sooner than spring or summer. Okay. Mark, thank you. You're